I got a question for you. I want to paint this picture for y'all for a minute. So just imagine, just, I want just create this movie in your head. You at home with your family, with your children, an intruder busts in. And when he busts in, when he busts in, he, he, got, he catch you on, he got, he catch you, he, he get the drop on you. And he tie you up and set you in a chair and just wrap you up with tape. I didn't have to do it to time to do it today, but I was going to do it. I was going to set somebody up here and duct tape them to a chair. Y'all know I will. Y'all know how I go. And he sit there and say, okay. And he went in the room with your wife and did whatever he wanted to. But then that wasn't good enough. After he got through with her, he made you watch. He said, oh, you got a daughter? She's seven? Yeah. I'm going to go in the room with her and do whatever I want to. But that ain't good enough either. This is true to say, yeah, you got a son. I'm going to bust in his room and do whatever I want to. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to molest him. I'm going to abuse him verbally, mentally, spiritually. I'm going to have my way with your family, and I'm going to make you watch. I got a question for y'all. What would you do? I got a couple real. Derek, what would you do? Mel, what would you do? If you just so happened to get out that tape, if you just so happened when he went to take his nap because he do he abuse your family on the clock, and he's like, I'm going to take me a nap before I can get my round five or six on them, before I start on them again. And you just so happen to get out that tape. What you going to do? Let me tell you what I would do. I will beat that man. See, I'm not going to just kill him. I got to take my time because you made me suffer. And you, you hurt my family. That's, that's what I live for. And I would take my time before I call the police, making you suffer. What if when you went over to this man after you beat him to crap and stumped him to crap and you realized it's you? I'm going to take my time. What if you realized after taking his mask off, it's me? I've been the one being abusive to my family. I've been the one being abusive mentally and emotionally and verbally, and if we want to be honest, sexually to my wife. I've been the one. See, I'm supposed to be the protector because a lot of y'all, let somebody walk in that house. He has us. He got to see you. And before he can even get pat, he's going to have to see you on all of your hollow points, all of your Dracos. You're going to empty every clip you got. But what if you realize that's you? You're the one that's infiltrated your own family and destroyed it. See, I want to get y'all to understand something today. The enemy can't infiltrate your family unless you let him. God has given you authority. And I'm going to show you in the word of God today where you have all authority. That's your family. That's your wife. That's your kids. The devil can't do nothing unless you let him do it. And I want to get you to understand something today before we get to week two next week. You're the reason why your family is not what it's supposed to be. See, I need to paint this in a way where we understand he, the enemy can't kick in your front door, not when you're standing there. He got to see you first. And y'all just wanting to fight the physical man and the physical people and the physical stuff. But y'all open the door for every demon, every witchcraft, everything to walk through on your family. You know what? Give me, give me my first video. Have you ever seen the movie Independence Day? What happened was the aliens invaded. And what they did is strategically placed UFOs, thank you, son, all in the major cities of the country. And what he found out is they're strategically, they're strategically planting themselves and plotting themselves all over. And what he said was they're going to, when the clock go down, it's boom. What he did next is call to warn the Capitol. You guys need to get out of there. That UFO that's sitting over there is about to blow you up. And he's running, and he's getting his stuff, trying to warn everybody. And what she do? Hang up. 
And what I realize, that as I give y'all this lesson, and I'm screaming at you to warn you, it's about to blow. That what you, the, 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 the thing, the secret thing you got hiding is about to come out. The issues that you thought you could hide and bury, get in the car and cuss her from A to Z, you about to accidentally butt down somebody. Everything that you're trying to hide and you think you can do under the sun and you think you are, it's about to blow. And I'm screaming to you to warn you. Men, I'm warning you. Stop it. Get better. Commit yourself to God because what comes next will not be any fun. And God keeps giving me this alarming in my spirit. And I'm going to show you the back half of the video at the, at the last part of this lesson, what the enemy plans to do. But I'm trying to warn you today for the next few weeks. This is a time out for games. And in 2024, it's a time out for games. Culture is trying to tell you to be this, but God has called you and created you to be this. And what I want to lay out for you today is what is culture telling you to be? You telling you to be the man. You got a beard and you dark, you the man. If you made it to 30 with no kids, you the man. So, if you got money and investments and business, you the man. If you got at least two cars, you the man. And we walk around and we walk around pursuing what culture say we are supposed to be. Get money. Got to show off. Got to have this. Got to have my gold chains on. Got to look like this. Got to be this. Trying to pursue, really, we don't even know we're doing it. Trying to appease, trying to be the man. Well, God said, I've created you to be a kingdom man. 